going crazy. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jaden Rodgers, and I'm back with another video. And if you saw the title today, I'll be showing you guys how I style my Air Jordan 4 Black Cat. Now, I already did a video like this on my channel back in November, but I just wanted to do a video in 2021 to just see if my style has changed whatsoever. So we're just gonna be doing comparisons from this video to that video, basically a then versus now type of video. But before we get into the video, if you're new to my channel, I do make fashion and sneaker related content. So stick around and hit that subscribe button and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok at jadenx one row. But if you're a returning subscriber, make sure to keep liking and keep commenting so I know that you're enjoying my content. So let's go. Okay, so I have all the outfits right here. I no longer use my clothing rack because it is broken. I don't even know if you guys can see, but it is leaning. I'm gonna get a new one, but I'm just trying to wait to the perfect time to get a new one. And I definitely wanna get a bigger one, but my room is not that big right now. So we're just gonna have to, you know, dug it out, dug it out. So I do have my hats right here. I just wanted my hats to be on the side, just so I can pair them with each outfit when I do explain them and stuff. But the first outfit does consist of these iced blue Boohoo Man relaxed fit jeans. There's no distressing, no rips or anything. They're regular jeans. And honestly, I love these jeans so much. When I first got them, I definitely was a little skeptical because they were so big on me. But then they just honestly grow on me because I no longer wear skinny jeans. So this is definitely just a bigger step from the video I did in November because these jeans are way bigger. And I always, always, always wore skinny jeans and just skinny cargos in general. But I've just started wearing a relaxed fit type of jeans, relaxed fit type of cargos, bigger cargos and stuff like that. And these are a size 32R, honestly. They were only about $20. The sweater consists of this OG Paradise um, hoodie that I did get from one of the Instagram streetwear brands that I did mention in my 10 streetwear brands that you need to know about. I did get this from them. Um, the font and stuff and the lettering is in glitter while the actual image is just a smiley face covered in skeleton bones. So I thought that was really dope. It's making a piece on. The only thing that I would say about them, um, I got this in a medium and it fits too snug. Honestly, like it, it's literally so snug. It fits like a small on me, honestly. I should have gotten a large. Just want to size up, honestly. But and what I did wear under, I did wear a regular black tee under it and I just zipped it up a little bit or I just left it out because when you leave it out, it really shows the smallness. But even when you zip it up, it just shows the tightness. So that outfit was a little iffy. The second outfit, um, this is probably one of my favorite outfits out this entire collection. This is definitely like top three. The We have these ice gray jeans from Boohoo Man, of course, again. They're zippered at the ankle. I did show these in my Boohoo Man jeans collection. They're zippers at the ankle, and they have a distressed knee that I did do myself, but I'm honestly not a fan of this because I did this impulsively. I didn't even take my time. I literally took a pair of scissors and said, true. I literally could have done way better, but you know, we, we don't. Ooh. <laughs> eh, eh. But yeah, these are just regular jeans. Relaxed fit, of course, size 32. I get all my jeans in a size 32. That is the waist, but the length is probably like a 31, 31. I think the length is a 31, but usually when it's a 32, they do 31 because they don't go any longer than 34, 33, if I'm not mistaken. I did pair it with this Alexander McQueen Psycho Billy shirt, and I know you guys are probably like Alexander McQueen, all of this, all of that. Nah, I'm not I'm not really into designer, all that Gucci, Louis, Prada, all that. I'm not into that, none of that, for real. I'm gonna spend my money well. I'm gonna make my money long. I'm gonna spend my money long, but um, I did get this, but it, it's not the price that you guys probably think it is. I literally, my dad probably paid like $40 or less for this shirt. You just gotta go out and look for the designer stuff for cheap. But this is actually a pretty dope shirt. It says Psycho Billy and then it has this icon and it's just really dope. Like in white outlining graphic tee, a black graphic tee at that. If you guys know, in my old style, I wore a lot of black graphic tees and I'm still wearing a lot of those, just adding a little more color and just neutral tones and muted earth tones and stuff like that as well. And I also paired it with this thrifted um, worker jacket. I did get this from L Train Vintage. It is a thrift store in New York City. Honestly, it's overrated in my opinion. Um, I've gone there a couple times and I've I've gotten some good stuff. But when I also go with my friends, um, did I just say old sir? Am I British? When I did go with my friends, um, they don't really get as much stuff as I do. So it's just, I'm just too good. I'm just too good when it comes to thrifting, and that's just what I would say. But 
Um, the only thing I don't like about this jacket is this American flag. I actually want to take this off. I want to get one of those tools where you can make rips easier and then they go against the stitching. It just takes up off. I'm definitely going to get one of those tools. And I'm definitely going to learn how to sew because I just want to be versatile in everything fashion. And that's just that. So that is the second outfit. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys are rating it. The third outfit is probably my least favorite, honestly. But so many people liked it on TikTok. I did make it like a small video like this on TikTok. I'm probably going to do another version just so I can show you guys the complete outfits and just add two more outfits but yeah um it is these pack sun cargos like i said these are very skinny and i actually wore these in the video that i did do in november but like i said you can already see my style has changed because in that video i was wearing a lot of bright colored graphic tees and just joggers or jeans and i did no type of layering no type of hoodies no type of jewelry no type of hats nothing i just literally put on a graphic tee pair of pants sneakers and then i was good but I mean, in my defense, I did pair my Black Cat 4, so I mean, I didn't want to do too much. But you could just see how I'm just evolving within my style. But it's, it's going to be pretty cool to see how I styled these differently now versus then. I did pair it with this Carhartt zip up hoodie. Now, I don't know what it is, but people be so, they be so fixated on what other people are wearing. And this is not a Carhartt Vintage. I, this is a new Carhartt that I did get off Amazon, and I honestly don't care. Um, obviously, Carhartt Vintage is way better, and it's, 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 it's honestly just looks way better, but I don't care. I'm going to get the new Carhartt if I want to. I'm going to get it what I want. Like, it, it is what it is. But this nice Carhartt sweater, honestly, the only thing about it is... Their larges are like extra large. Um, I thought it was gonna feel like a medium, but I do have my other car hoodies in a large, but this one is a large as well. And this is a zip up, but it's just too big. Like right here, when you zip it up at the pocket, it literally sticks out like you're pregnant. And then when you wear it with the vest that I paired it with from Forever 21, I love this vest, love this vest, love this vest, love this vest, love this vest. It fits well over baggier clothing, skinnier clothing. It literally just goes good with any outfit I put on, honestly. Just this, I just love this utility vest. But when I wear it with the with the cargo hoodie, and I, if I don't zip it up, the cargo hoodie is literally sticking out like I'm pregnant while this is just open. So I don't think I tried it zipped up, so we're gonna see, actually. That is the third fit, I'm pretty sure. Um, this fit I already wore on my Instagram and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you guys because I never showed you guys on camera. It does consist of these cargos that I did get from Amazon. We have these in olive green. I wanna get them in brown and black, but we're about to go into spring. And I'm about to do a spring essentials video, so stay tuned for that because I'm about to give y'all gems for real. And honestly, in that video, I'm probably gonna go off my own opinion and what I've just seen personally before. I would watch other YouTubers' videos, but I want to come up with my own predictions to just see how well I do and stuff like that. These were these were good finds, good pickups. Honestly, I love these cargos. Like I said, I have them in olive green. I want to get them in black, but black is always sold out. But I don't know. I don't think they'll look as good in black, in my opinion. Now, I did pair it with this all-white Kith pullover hoodie. Now, this, I, I've probably just been throwing this around, and it's white, but it doesn't look like it's stained at all. Like, that's probably the best part about it. It doesn't look like it's stained at all. I mean, I can't personally see it, but it's a Dodgers ring when they won their world championship. They put this out, and they sold it on there with, like, Yankee stuff. It's probably dirty at the neck. Not even dirty at the neck. Maybe just a little, but that's regular. I'm not even mad about that. But yeah, like I said, I did pair with this and I actually did wear the utility vest over it. I'm gonna insert a picture on my Instagram, but if you're not following my Instagram, then what are you doing? It's gonna be right here in the corner, Jade X Monroe. And it's my TikTok as well. So you have two plugs for two different social medias. So go follow that for more fashion content. I do post regularly on TikTok almost every other day, twice a day, every day. And then I do post on my IG Reels sometimes, every once in a blue. But the last outfit, this one is definitely like a full out blown winter outfit and I'm so upset that I didn't get to wear it. I'm probably gonna wear it this weekend. I don't know, I'm probably gonna wear it. I don't know, I actually wanted to take pictures in this as well but I don't know how that's gonna turn out either. Um, but I'm probably gonna sell most of my winter clothes on Depop 
mainly just jackets sweaters and shirts if i don't wear them or even make my own instagram let me know in the comments what you guys would rather honestly because i'm just so conflicted i'm such an indecisive person i don't know which one i would rather make um we have this grid puffer coat um and then we have these ice blue um cargo type button all the way from the calf all the way down to the ankle jeans love these they give it a flare effect over the black hat fours absolutely love them absolutely absolutely love them and then i paired it with this gray car hoodie love this gray car hoodie um i have a brown one but i love this gray one honestly it's just it's just nice it's really nice the the oversized hoodies they're just really nice i love this gray i don't know what gray this is exactly but i love this gray this gray love it love it here love this gray other than that um that's really about it i'm probably gonna pair that with the black beanie i think i liked it with the black beanie active by night keep going crazy But that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you watched my first Black Hat video and you're watching this one now. And just let me know in the comments if you think my style has definitely changed or not. Because personally, I definitely think it has. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn that post notification bell because I am dropping a lot of consistent videos for the rest of 2021. So peace.